So what this music is telling us is that the monsters have won. That, in effect, at this point, the monsters have won. Yeah, sorry. What also strikes me about this is the slight eccentricity of the setup here. I mean, we've mm. got no strings, have no. we? Dudley's job was to get the you know, biggest sound for the smallest amount of money, really. He was trying to find a way around a small budget. Dudley's answer was simple but ingenious. A new kind of organ, the EX42. It was designed for rock bands and cabaret clubs, but Dudley had something much more horrible in mind. The BBC's original has been lost, so Mark has found a cunning way of recreating the sound. What was I say? Um, one, two, three, four, six, six keyboards. So, so six this. keyboards doing the work of this half-ton right. Yamaha organ. That's... So what's this giving <laughs> us then? More? Well, it's doubling the size of the band. All the woodwinds and, and filling out the brass and uh, tuba sound is all coming off the keyboards over here. He is being very clever. He's being ahead of his time, I think. Before samplers, before synthesizers, he was using it to increase the size of his orchestra. OK, here we go. Should we howl? What? Do you want howl? What? Let's howl. One, two, three... Credits. Are you happy now? I'm very happy. Happy as I'll ever be. <laughs> Tristan, you were there when this was done the first time. Yes. How er experimental is the music? How innovative is it? Well, I think, you, you know, from your own listening, everybody's listening, that it was, you know, something that wasn't around perhaps at that time. Perhaps more in the classical world, where Boulez was beginning to come along, Stockhausen and all those guys. And so we, we got more used to it later, but it was really kind of a bit off the wall, as they say, which is great. So that kind of 20th century avant-garde music, that's making its presence felt in Doctor Who in a way that it may not have been in other dramas. Very much so, yes, very much to the fore. <laughs> 